ever wondered what it's like to live in a place where the possession of foreign media can land you in a labor camp? Picture this. You're strolling through the streets of Pyongyang when you unknowingly start humming a catchy South Korean pop song. What happens next will leave you dumbfounded. Join us on an expedition into the surreal and mind-boggling world of North Korean laws, where even the smallest misstep can lead to unthinkable consequences. Why do these rules exist and what do they reveal about the secretive regime? Buckle up because the journey into the realm of bizarre laws that only exist in North Korea begins now. Crying Now let's explore the unusual custom of shedding tears in North Korea. While it's natural to grieve and cry when losing a loved one like a parent or grandparent, it's unexpected to mourn a nation's leader in the same way. However, in North Korea, it's not a matter of choice. The country's leader is revered as divine and citizens must pay daily respects at a dedicated statue. Under Kim Jong-un's leadership during our exploration, the requirement had been in place, but before 2012, Kim Jong-un's father, Kim Jong-il, held power. During Kim Jong-il's funeral, all citizens were obligated to attend and display their grief through tears. Failure to attend or not crying sufficiently led to a grim outcome, a mandatory six-month labor camp sentence. Former detainees have drawn parallels between these camps and Hitler's concentration camps. The underscores that in North Korea, there's no exception to this rule, and even the toughest individuals can't avoid the expectation to weep. Haircuts now let's explore the intriguing realm of haircuts. While many of us enjoy the freedom of choosing our hairstyle, in North Korea, this personal expression is a rare luxury. In the secluded nation, personal hair preferences are strictly regulated. You're not free to opt for a conventional or unconventional look. Instead, you must select from a government-approved list of only 14 hairstyles with a slightly larger selection of 18 for women. Surprisingly, North Korea places significant importance on hair, as evident in the airing of a six-part TV series called Letosh Tremor Hair in 2004, aligning with a social lifestyle. While the title may lack catchiness, within a country with limited television options, it managed to draw substantial viewership. Moreover, the government has gone to great lengths to monitor citizens' hair choices. Surveillance cameras and public spaces are in place to identify those who deviate from the state-maintained haircut guidelines. Even a minor adjustment such as trimming your hair a centimeter too short can lead to punishment in this closely regulated society. Bibles Now let's explore the unique situation surrounding Bibles. While Bibles are widespread in the United States and worldwide, they are strictly prohibited in North Korea, along with other religious texts like the Torah or the Quran. The North Korean government's primary concern is the potential influence of these religious materials, fearing they may inspire thoughts of freedom that compete with loyalty to the nation's leader. Possessing a Bible, even for tourists, can result in severe consequences including confiscation. For citizens, the penalties may involve punishment, while tourists could face deportation. For devout Christians, a trip to North Korea may require careful consideration, as the ban on religious texts represent a significant obstacle to religious freedom within the country. Television Now let's shift our focus to television, a medium cherished for entertainment and information. However, North Korea offers a starkly different TV experience. In this isolated nation, only two television channels exist, far from the diverse programming found on networks like HBO or ABC. These channels are state-owned and tightly controlled, serving as conduits for North Korean propaganda. One channel features propaganda-laden public service announcements, including the Letosh Tremor Hair series we discussed. 
The other channel focuses on news, but often delivers biased and inaccurate information. Its content revolves around the glorification of Kim Jong-un and consistently criticizes the United States and its allies. Before we proceed to the next one, you may want to hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it. Let's move on. Automobiles Up next, let's discuss the scarcity of automobiles. While cars are a common sight for many of us, in North Korea, they're a rare find. Ownership of cars is restricted to a select few, predominantly government workers, and the vehicles available are reminiscent of American cars from the 1970s. North Korea's automotive technology has lagged behind, mainly because the number of car owners in the country is exceedingly low, with only one in every 1,000 individuals possessing a vehicle. To put this in perspective, in the United States, one out of every three people owns a car. The sparse traffic has led people to walk on the roads instead of sidewalks, as the risk of encountering a car is nearly non-existent. Leisure Time Now let's talk about leisure time. While striking a balance between work and relaxation is vital, North Korea takes a unique approach. In this nation, free time is a rare commodity. Every citizen is mandated to work at least 70 consecutive days, and taking a day off comes with hefty financial penalties. The work week lasts six days, with an extra day devoted to volunteer work. This leaves the people of North Korea with scant leisure time. The stringent work schedule is designed to maximize the country's economic output. North Korea's lack of international trade has left its economy vulnerable, and it often treats its citizens as labor resources, emphasizing productivity over individual well-being. Photography Let's explore the restrictions on photography in North Korea. While taking vacation photos is a common practice, if you decide to visit North Korea, you'll encounter stringent rules. Tourists are prohibited from photographing North Korean citizens unless they are well-dressed. Capturing images of malnourished or impoverished individuals is also forbidden. Pictures that depict inefficiency or resource shortage within North Korea are also not allowed. Additionally, photographing military and government buildings is strictly banned. Despite extensive government surveillance with cameras in major towns, ordinary citizens are generally not permitted to own cameras except for Kim Jong-un's appointed propaganda photographers. Female Soldiers Now, let's explore North Korea's women in the military. Despite expectations of limited rights in a conservative country, North Korea maintains a female military unit. Nevertheless, their journey to becoming soldiers is exceptionally challenging. These women undergo rigorous training at military camps, where they're subjected to indoctrination including messages aimed at Americans. After graduation, they face long working hours and are often utilized in parades to protect a positive national image. This involves uniform requirements, including identical haircuts and matching miniskirt uniforms. Sometimes, they're even physically connected by wires around the neck to maintain uniformity. Unfortunately, this treatment makes North Korean female soldiers among the world's most poorly treated. Family Punishment Now, let's delve into the concept of family punishment. While many legal systems focus on punishing the individual who commits a crime, North Korea takes a drastically different approach. The country enforces a law known as three generations of punishment, meaning that if someone commits a crime, it's not just them who faces the consequences. Their parents, spouse, and children also bear the brunt of the punishment. Regardless of the family member's age, be they elderly or young, even unborn, the entire family of the person who violates North Korea's stringent rules is sentenced to arduous labor camps without adequate food or breaks. Tragically, most do not survive this ordeal. Voting Now, let's discuss voting in North Korea. Despite its dictatorship status, every citizen is obliged to vote, under the threat of being sent to a labor camp if they abstain. 
Notably, North Korea's voting system features only one candidate on the ballot, Kim Jong-un. No one else has the means, authority, or opportunity to challenge his position. While there have been instances of additional names on ballots alongside Kim, these individuals were fabricated figures, designed to create the appearance of fairness. Despite the country's official name, the People's Democratic Republic of Korea, it's evident that the people themselves hold little sway in this democracy. What do you think is the craziest law in North Korea? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you like it. Thanks for watching.